favorite combo recently. The only problem is that, that coffee shop is starting to get way too crowded. Like everyone has figured it out. Everyone has found it. And I've only been going there like maybe two months at this point, but it has started to get so crazy that there's absolutely no parking and it's just madness. But this latte, decaf honey cinnamon with oat milk, it's so good. I swear, so good. And then I go to Crestline and I get a bagel egg sandwich. Oh man, she's thick today. Look at that. Oh, say less. I am truly one happy camper starting my day with that. Oh my gosh. One thing about pregnancy is I have like been super hy hyper fixated on foods. I didn't really have any food aversions, didn't have any major cravings, Soda is my biggest craving, honestly. Like, Coke, give me Coke 100% of the time. Like, make it into a freaking IV because I am obsessed with Coke. But otherwise, I haven't had any crazy cravings. So I think, like, especially first trimester when it was, like, I found something I could like, I just, like, clung to it because it would get me, like, excited to eat instead of, like, well, I don't even know what I want to eat. But, like, and then I would wait too long and then I would get nauseous and it was this whole entire cycle. So it's, like, the vegan mac and cheese obsessed with it, still obsessed with it, but especially this breakfast, when I did this combo once, I ended up coming like two more times that week, and then it just like kinda hasn't stopped. I don't come that often. I come like maybe once a week, maybe. I think it's been like two weeks since I've done this, but oh my gosh, it is so freaking good. But I need to head home. I'm so happy right now. I am really, really happy. So, what we are going to do in today's video is a little bit of nesting. Similarly to the like food aversion, food craving situation, I really have not had like any real feelings of nesting. I think it's more so the practical planning side of me of like, okay, well I knew third trimester, like the bigger I get, the less I'm gonna wanna be on like, even my little mini step stool hanging curtains and painting and doing all of that. I was like, let me just knock out the nursery while I feel great. You know, I was doing stuff like that. So I, especially after last video, it was a great reminder for me to be like, Catherine, you really got to organize this dresser. You need to go through this closet and this room just needs to be done. So I don't even have to think about it. I don't have to do anything other than continue to collect the few things that I still need for my little man and proceed from there. So first, we're gonna start with this dresser. And honestly, this dresser is filled with the most random miscellaneous stuff ever. Like I'm pretty sure, <laughs> you can just tell by the way that I moved that I'm so pregnant right now. Um, yeah, like this is my like grilling stuff right here because this was used and then I just have like screws and more of these like knobs in here. It's really, I should just like take all of this out. But this dresser was used as my kitchen when I first moved into this house. So if you can also tell that like it's a little bit caving, it's warped. There's actually boards. Well, there's one board underneath here and then a few pieces of wood holding it up because there was so much weight on top of it, which really I didn't even have that much. But it must have been too much weight for this dresser to carry when it was my kitchen. So I am gonna start by just like cleaning all of this out um, like this. And this is actually meant to go in there, so that's fine. But like this, that is disgusting. That is so gross. Like all of this kitchen stuff.
I'm quickly realizing how much this is just going to be an absolute snowball project because this is all the stuff <laughs> that I pulled out. Haven't even opened the closet yet because I'm like, okay, one thing at a time. Let's like tackle the dresser and do all this. But in reality, I should go through this and be like, what am I going to donate? What am I going to keep? What is going where? And I have known for a while that I need to go through my clothes and do the exact same thing. So I'm like, okay, well, I should really just like push these off to the side, get to that another day. So pushing it off to the side would ideally mean going into this bedroom and feel free to judge me. Honestly, like I would be judging me so hard. This has been the state of this bedroom for months at this point. Um, and honestly, this is just like recyclables that I need to take to the recycling center. Like, I've got crap over here. I, I don't even know where to start with this. Because I have so many different categories of things. I'm almost thinking cardboard because that seems like the largest invasive category. made an absolute mess of my house. It's one of those situations where like it has to get worse before it <laughs> can get better. So this cardboard, all of that cardboard, because I was like, I need to break this down before I can put it in my car and then take it to the recycling center. This room to me looks so much better. I'm sure taking like that does not, but to me, this is organized chaos. It's just because of that, there's now stuff lined up in my bathroom. I've got stuff lined up here. And then I started to remove some of the stuff from this closet. So all of my man's stuff is officially taken out of here and put in its appropriate place. And I don't, I just don't even know where to go because ideally I would organize this closet as well. Like this is an embarrassment to my name, honestly. I am usually such an incredibly organized person. It was just like when I moved in, this was organized and then it turned into a mess. Like there's some house project stuff. There's this, oh, oh, it's driving me crazy. And then like these things need to go in here and I don't, I don't. I just, I don't. It's gonna be great once it's all done. It's just a terrible snowball project. So anything that isn't his, let's start. It's like an extra curtain rod. What do I do with that? These frames are all for the bathroom. I got a vision for in there. This is actually for the crib. It transitions into like three different beds. So I need to keep this. I'm almost thinking all of my extra wipes should go up here. Stuff like this, this, this even, these should be in the dresser. Sleep sack will ultimately be in the dresser as well. This is a carrier. This is my camera, I just need it set up, so I'm just gonna leave it right there. Baby bottles will obviously end up going in the kitchen and need washed. Honestly, all of these clothes and stuff, I have not washed any of this. I'm waiting until it's like closer to the time because I figure there's no point in me washing it and then it's gonna like sit here and collect us and then I'm gonna have to wash it again. So all of these like still have their tags and stuff on. So these will be washed before his arrival. That is not part of today. I want his bath to like sit up here. Oh, perfect. These are all go gonna go in the dresser. Um, oh, I'm just not realizing this is still on here. We gotta get rid of this. <laughs> what is this? Well, this is an extra sheet for him. Little socks. TT Cam got him these. Got hats. I'm really debating what type of organization I need 
for this closet. Oh, I definitely need to keep this because this is like instructions on how to put this carrier on. When I got this carrier, I already had a bump, so I couldn't really put it on because it's supposed to sit on your natural waist and it just like didn't work. So I need to save that. But for the closet specifically, I want a basket or some kind of organization for sheets. Right now I only have like two sheets. I think I'm going to end up getting more. I might want like four. Although in reality, if a sheet is spoiled, I'm going to wash it immediately. So like maybe two is actually totally fine. For bassinet, I only have one sheet for the bassinet, so I definitely need to get another backup one for that. But I want something like right in here. This is like his go-to station. Like I don't want any of his stuff in the linen closet. Like all of it is going to live right here. So it's just like easy access. You know exactly where to go. It's in his closet. But I think I really only need a basket for that. And then I don't know what to do for like this carrier. Like do I just stick it in one of the drawers? I might actually put it in the bottom because even for the drawers, I know there's still more stuff that I need. Like I have got no diapers and diapers are gonna be put in one of the top drawers over here. But I really don't feel like I have enough stuff for him to fill up this dresser because I primarily want his clothes hanging just personal preference like it's it's so much easier to put clothes on a hanger for me than to fold them all or like even like roll them up and put them all organized like no his pants will be in there but all of his other clothes are going to be hung in this closet there's plenty of space for it so in terms of organization it's like what do i need like <laughs> this is like diaper hats socks let's put the pants over here pants pants this is like bath time, but like nail file and thermometer and then burp cloths. Again, there's so many more things that I need that I especially will want right here on hand when I am changing him and stuff. Cause like, I don't even have, I've got this bum brush, but I don't have any cream. So it's like this, this serves zero purpose because I don't have any cream. I just like want to like do more research on that before I buy anything that way. Like even um, baby, wash like soap and stuff for bath time I've purchased none of that because I'm like that is going to be more research for me to do before I make that purchase and what else I'm like pacifiers and there's just things that I'm gonna want right here on hand so taking a look at this organization wise I feel like I don't really need that much it's just like something to keep the pants organized because I don't want the pants just like stacked like that that's not gonna be the most effective way by any means. And even just like keeping the hats all organized, I want them in something. So I'm definitely gonna need that. Um, I'm almost thinking like a little glass, or not glass, definitely not glass, plastic, clear container that I can put like his thermometer and nail file in so that those are all organized and just have their spots instead of things just like floating around in these drawers. I want them to have their spots. I do kind of want to, I might like Google or hop on Pinterest and see how other people are organizing their dressers in a nursery because I'm, I feel like that's going to give me a good idea of like what else do I need. It's really like the one downside to not having a registry is kind of pulling things out of the air being like I know I need this I know I want this like this is what I'm buying and I have not been that organized so I do kind of have a list of the things that I still need and want but I know I'm probably missing something because this is my first kid and I just don't you know I'm not experienced I'm not seasoned in this stuff the hard thing is going to be the fact that this target is renovating right now and everything is all over the place. So I have no idea. I might have actually just looked up. So what I'm wondering is like, I don't need the lid. What is this? I'm debating if I want something like this for inside the dresser, for his clothes specifically, like for his pants. Hmm. I do think I want something like this though. We're gonna see. That might be an option. Haha, we found them. Yes, okay, 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 okay. So I actually need two of these.
it is a few days later. The dresser is all filled. I honestly had to stop myself at Target because I was like, oh my gosh, do I just buy all the things I need for this dresser to like have this full nesting video? And then I was like, no, Catherine, calm yourself. You don't need all this yet. Let's continue our slow and steady purchases so it's not one big dump of cash all at one time. So there's still a few drawers that are not filled. So like this one down here has absolutely nothing in it. Maybe his like towels or honestly, like his sheets could go in here instead of the closet. This one, I actually put the other divider in and I think this is just going to be filled with diapers because then right here this will not have all of these in here at all times. I'm going to have like the rash cream and whatever else in here and this is going to be somewhere else because I already have a changing station here. This is a portable changing station but temporarily just to keep everything organized. What else? This is obviously going to be filled with things. And then I'm really thinking for the clothes, I don't want these containers. I kind of want something a bit softer, but we'll see. These are all pants organized by size. These are his only pair of shorts. And then these are just like too thick to roll up, but very, very cute. For the closet, look at that floor, you guys. It's not a freaking disaster. So. I am curious if I can just buy another one of these. I'm sure I can, but temporarily, this is my old hamper with a ripped thing there. I figured it will stay. All of his clothes, same organization I had before. His sleep sacks are over here. This is all really the same. I just put his sheets in here. Um, this is like miscellaneous toys, just temporarily and then that is my dad's travel stuff so <laughs> it's just kind of stays in this room because this has always been his bedroom when he comes to visit and then the final thing to show you in the hallway I'm still not totally done out here but this closet does this not make you so incredibly excited so these towels, or honestly, I'm debating because I kind of changed the color scheme in the master bathroom, but the original plan for these towels were for them to exist in the master bath. So like this is a whole towel shelf, but then I had it overflow. I've got a lot, a lot of freaking towels. Um, so some of these will end up going in there for storage instead, and then this will actually be designated to towels. This is filled with all of my sheets, organized extra king sheets here, extra queen sheets here, and then all of this stuff. It's a lot, but it is so organized and <laughs> it makes me so happy. <laughs> and with that, I feel like phase one of nesting is done. I'm feeling really, really good about his nursery and where we're at right now. I did have a dream the other night, which was so ridiculous. I am back in the phase of super, super crazy, vivid dreams right now and the dream I had the other night is that he came early and I had no diapers. So I was frantic, freaking out because I had no diapers and I was in this like little village area where I could walk to stores. So I was walking to all these stores trying to find diapers and then they didn't have any in his size. It was this whole entire thing and then I ended up running into someone that I knew and then we ended up spending a couple hours together and it hit me like how long it had been since I changed his diaper but he wasn't fussy at all and it was this whole thing and it was so ridiculous but <laughs> I think it's just because I was filming this video and I mentioned I don't have any diapers that it really hit me that I need to get some diapers so you know that's where we're at but I am so glad that I got this done this dresser cleared out like it did not need to have all of my stuff in it and especially as I go into the workshop tour I feel like this is just one less thing I need to worry about when I get home so the next little bit of content you guys are gonna see is freaking workshop tour, baby. I can't believe it's here. I leave in four days. Madness. My to-do list this week is so incredibly long of all the things I need to do before I can leave. <laughs> <laughs>